Karl Popper, in his book The Open Society and Its Enemies, wrote the following. Unlimited tolerance must lead to the disappearance of tolerance. If we extend unlimited tolerance even to those who are intolerant, if we are not prepared to defend a tolerant society against the onslaught of the intolerant, then the tolerant will be destroyed, and tolerance with them. In this formulation, I do not imply, for instance, that we should always suppress the utterance of intolerant philosophies. As long as we can counter them by rational argument and keep them in check by public opinion, suppression would certainly be most unwise. But we should claim the right to suppress them if necessary, even by force, for it may easily turn out that they are not prepared to meet us on the level of rational argument but begin by denouncing all argument. They may forbid their followers to listen to rational argument because it is deceptive and teach them to answer arguments by the use of their fists or pistols. We should therefore claim in the name of tolerance, the right not to tolerate the intolerant. We should claim that any movement preaching intolerance places itself outside the law and we should consider incitement to intolerance and persecution as criminal, in the same way as we should consider incitement to murder or to kidnapping or to the revival of the slave trade as criminal. Again, this was written by Karl Popper in The Open Society and Its Enemies. I was listening to the radio a few days ago, uh, NPR station, and one of the radio hosts was mentioning how after the election of Donald Trump, we should refrain from calling the supporters of Trump uh, stupid or the basket of deplorables as Clinton, Hillary Clinton called them. And while I tend to agree that we should not label an entire swath of uh, voting demographic as stupid, uh, I do think that we should label them as ignorant. Uh, I think that it can be proven that for the most part, those who voted for Donald Trump are less educated and are ignorant of their surroundings uh, and uh, certainly of the larger surroundings um, in the world. They have traveled less, they have explored fewer philosophies and cultures. Uh, they are happy in their own little insular bubbles, um, self-congratulating themselves on Donald Trump's win. I do not think it's wrong to label ignorance as ignorance. I do not think it's wrong to label intolerance as intolerance. And one of the, the pitfalls of modern you know, political correctness, in my opinion, is that we've lost the ability to call a spade a spade. We've lost the language to name that which is harmful, harmful. Uh, and we cannot, if we, if we want to maintain democratic society, if we don't want to slip into fascism, we cannot stop calling ignorance ignorance. We cannot stop labeling racism as racism, xenophobia as xenophobia, sexism as sexism. We have to use these terms and we cannot abide intolerance in the name of tolerance or all civilization will be lost. So I find myself, I suppose, disagreeing with the host on his main point uh, that we all need to come together now after the election of Donald Trump. Uh, for me, that is um, an incitement to normalize what should not be normalized and to accept what should not be accepted. And the moment we accept intolerance in the name of tolerance is the moment that we start further down on that slippery slope towards fascism. Thank you for joining me for Freedom Matters, and I hope you'll tune in next time.